Good afternoon, good morning. Um, I'm making um, today the Lisa Pay um, bag um, that she put up. Um, I'm not doing the teddy bear style, I'm just doing a plain um, front one and I'm doing it, um, the strap for a child size. Um, I'll put the um, link in the description below as to where you can find the free pattern. Um, I don't want to give too many instructions as it's not my pattern. So for the gusset, um, you need one lining, one fab in the outer fabric, and one piece of um, fleece. Um, you're going to put your fleece to your outer fabric. If it's fusible fleece, it's obviously better. Um, I didn't have any um, fusible, so I've just had to pin mine in place um, while I was um, working on on it. Um, <clears throat> So you have um, an outer front and out with an outer front fleece. You have um, a lining and um, in the outer front. Um, again, fix the um, fusible or fleece to um, the outer edge. The um, pocket um, is um, just a small square um, and you stitch around, all around, leaving um, an opening um, for turning um, so that when you've, when you've stitched it around, um, you can um, add it to your lining piece. So these are um, the outer edge, uh, the back and the flap over. Um, again, fix your um, fleece to um, the outer fabric and keep the lining um, separate. I'm going to um, work on my pieces um, as individual uh, pieces, um, not like Lisa did. So there's my pocket sewn all the way around leaving a gap for turning and once it's turned out i'm going to position it on the um, lower edge of the lining with the pocket towards the center So there's my pocket with the opening, as you can see. I've top stitched along the top edge and given it a good press so that um, once um, it's sewn onto the um, lining, <coughs> sorry, um, it, um, that top edge has got a neat finish. So there's my um, pocket sewn onto um, the lining piece, um, just stitched around the three sides, um, the bottom and the two sides, um, to hold it in place, leaving the top bit open um, for, so you can use it as a pocket. And now on my um, out my outer fabric that's got my fleece, I've um, attached um, a um, metal fastener um, closure. Um, it, you can add a press stud if you want, or a piece of velcro, um, whatever you want to use as your as your fastening. I quite like these magnetic clips. So take your gusset, pin it around your um, outer edge that you've just put the um, clip on, and then we're going to sew um, all around um, the three sides. So 
So there is my um, piece. You can see where my um, um, press stud is that holds it together. Um, and um, that's the gusset on, fixed onto one side already. We're now going to start and have a look at fixing um, the back of the um, fabric. So we're going to um, fix our um, back to the other side of the gusset uh, and sew that in, in place um, all the way around. Um, mark, I marked my um, where the piece should come from off the pattern um, just so that I knew I'd got it in the um, right place. Um, once that's done, you're going to set that aside because um, we're going to work on the lining. So the lining is done in exactly the same way. Um, fix your gusset to your front part first and stitch it all the way around. We're now going to add the other half of the um, popper onto the lining. I have added a little bit of wadding onto the um, back just to give it a bit more um, security um, through the um, lining so that it doesn't um, pull away and rip too much. So we now add um, the back flap of the um, lining to um, the other side of the gusset. And as you can see, there's my um, popper in place. So I've now created um, a D-ring. Um, I've just done a little bit of a, of a tape um, from the lining fabric, um, which is um, which was about two and a half inches wide, uh, six centimeters um, by two inches, three inches, um, and that's uh, made the um, uh, D-ring ready for the strap to attach to. This then gets placed into um, the lining. You place the lining and the inside, the outer right sides together. Um, so you, um, then I pin the D-rings in place. And when I've sewn it round, I've made sure that I've um, gone over that D-ring um, stitching, reversing two or three times. Um, just to give it that extra bit of security. Um, so what I did, I started at um, the um, left-hand side and I worked across um, the fold, where the fold line of the of the flap top flap would be, and then worked my way around the um, top edge of the bag, um, and then worked my way up and around the flap, leaving um, an opening for turning. Then there's the bag turned right side out. You can see the D-ring on either side. And so uh, looks quite uh, quite pretty. Uh, because the um, fleece wasn't um, fusible, I've just added some um, a bit of quilting stitching in the top flap um, just to um, hold the fleece in place.
So I've got some um, little swivel, swivel clips that I've attached to the end of the strap so that I can attach them to the D-ring. Um, uh, they're quite long enough, I think, for a child. And I decided to put the top handle onto um, my little bags as well because I thought, well, you know, they might want to carry it by the handle rather than the strap. Um, so um, take use the pattern pieces and just stitched um, with a bit of fleece in the middle of them. So there's the um, strap just pinned into place onto the top of the bag. Now I'm going to get some buttons and I'm going to attach a couple of buttons on either end um, just to fix that strap in place. Um, I did actually use the zigzag on the um, sewing machine to um, sew these um, buttons on because I wanted to make sure that they were really secure with it being a ch for a child who's liable to swing it around a lot. <clears throat> So there's the buttons as you can see and the bag's finished. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this um, quick tutorial um, and um, as I say it's a free pattern that you can um, get from um, Lisa at Pay It Forward. Um, so I hope you um, enjoy. <laughs>